Hello, welcome to another video on this channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this awesome fashion photo slideshow with Camtasia Studio. Before we proceed, if you're new here, on this channel, we make unique and awesome photos and video slideshows and video editing tips and tricks tutorials. So if you want to see more of content like this, consider subscribing. All right, let's get started. In order to pull this off, we need photos or images. So you can import yours. I already have mine in my library. So let's start by dragging to timeline our first image. Add your images to the timeline. Crop the images to 120%. Highlight the images, copy and paste them on the third track on the timeline. Leave the second track empty. We're gonna do something about it later. Crop the images on the first track. Go to annotations, drag and drop blur on the second track. Go to the screen and expand the blur to cover the surface of the image just like this. Then go back to the timeline and stretch it across the three images. Go to animation. Drag and drop scale up on the first image and stretch it to the end. Do the same to the rest of the two images. Highlight the other three images on the third track and align them with the other images. Add more tracks to the timeline. Drag the images on track three to different tracks. Resize the images to 100%. Go to Visual Effects, drag and drop border on the top image and increase the thickness to 10. Highlight the three images and expand them. Make sure the background images match the other images. If not, stretch them. Move the playhead forward. Go to animation. Drag and drop custom on all the images. Then align the images side by side on the screen. Right click on the top image and copy effects and then go highlight the other two images and paste the effects. Move the playhead forward. Click on the image in the middle, drag and drop, scale up on it. Drag and drop, tilt left 
on the left image and align it properly on the screen. Then drag and drop tilt right on the image on the right hand side and also align it on the screen properly. Now move the playhead forward and apply restore to the three images. Make sure the three images are highlighted, drag and drop custom on them. Go to the screen and drag both the right and the left hand side images to align with the middle image one after the other. Then go to the screen and move the image in the middle to the right and the last image to the left hand side. Move the playhead to the beginning of the animation, click on the image in the middle and split it. Then drag it to the top empty track and align it with the other images. Move the playhead forward and repeat the process again as the pass animation. Just follow the same process or steps to complete the animation one after the other. If at any point you got lost, just go back and check the first animation. You can slow down the video and follow the process step by step slowly. Alright, when you're done with the animation, it's time to apply transition to the end of our images. Add transition. Stretch the images forward. Highlight all the images. Go to transition. Choose three third from the drop down menu. Then drag and drop payroll on the images. You can expand them as you wish. Go back, highlight and stretch or expand the background images and blur to match the duration of the other images. So let's make some adjustment with the background. Let the background images align with the other images. So let's preview it and see what we have. Wow, isn't it awesome? Well, we're almost done with this fashion slideshow. But don't forget we can add music to our slideshow. So let's go ahead and add some music. Camtasia have some cool sound. They can add to your slideshow or you can just import some from your computer. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I have imported some music right here. So I'm gonna go and add one to the timeline. Just drag and drop it on the timeline. That's it. We're all done with our slideshow. Well, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it could be somehow complicated or confusing the first time, 
but you can watch it again if you don't get it the first time. You can even slow it down to your own pace. And if you have any question, leave it in the comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget you can watch it over and over again until you get it. If you're getting value out of this video so far, don't forget to like and share it with your friends to get the video in front of more people.